Of all the different types of activities that Moodle has to offer, its discussion forum can be one of the most helpful to really support students engage with the course material. Our objective in this session is to set up a discussion forum that will help draw out students into our course and really get them engaged. So make sure that editing is turned on. Uh, so you can see that up here in the upper right hand corner of the screen. And I'm going to go ahead and make sure that it's turned on. There it is. Turn editing on. And then I'm going to go ahead and scroll down to the section of my course that I want to add my form. So I'm going to add mine to, uh, to the uh, topic five. And I'm going to select add an activity or resource. All of my activities will pop up uh, on the screen and I'm going to go ahead and select form. And then finally, I'm going to select the add button. I need to give my uh, form a name. So I've gone ahead and I have uh, typed up what the form is going to be. So this is about monitoring water quality. And the next is going to be about um, what the form discussion is all about and what students are going to be responsible for doing. So I'm copying and pasting this into uh, my form. Um, and then finally, I'm just going to scroll down and uh, go through some of the different uh, settings that are available in forums. Um, the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to uh, scroll down to the bottom of the page and I'm going to click on attachments and word count. Uh, you'll notice that it has a maximum attachment size of 500 kilobytes as the default. I'm going to put that to 2 megabytes just to uh, allow for photos or larger files to be included. And 9 uh, attachments per discussion seem a little high to me, so I'm just going to change that to 5. Um, I'm going to go down and um, so this is the, what will allow students to attach files to the discussion. I'm going to scroll down to subscription and tracking. And I like to leave subscription and tracking as an optional subscription. And the reason why is because what subscription and tracking does is this allows and notifies uh, students when uh, questions or answers have been added to a form. So I like to give that option to students. If you force subscription, this would um, require all students in your class to receive email notifications from Moodle. Uh, when changes have been made. And if I have any any questions about any of these uh, settings, I can always click the little help box uh, to see what some of these characteristics means. Um, in terms of the uh, post threshold for blocking, uh, this is an interesting feature. I don't uh, use it very often. The idea behind this is uh, that if you wanted to require students, all students to participate, you can um, block uh, for a certain time period, the next post a student can make. So let's say student one is a really vocal participant in your discussion. You could require one day before they can post again. Um, since I have such small classes, typically I don't use this feature. Um, grades, because I don't use the gradebook in Moodle, uh, this isn't going to be uh, available. But if I did, I could go ahead and allot the uh, forum discussion uh, to automatically post in the gradebook. Uh, ratings, uh, for this type of discussion, I typically don't use this. This is the ability to uh, create a scale and ratings uh, for you and the students uh, to rate the discussion. Um, the common module settings is uh, uh, interesting because uh, this typically has to do with uh, grouping. And uh, because we have such small classes, I don't actually change the group mode to separate groups. But the idea here is, let's say you have four subgroups in a class that you want to participate in, in separate discussions. And you don't want those four separate subgroups to see each other's work. You can create separate groups for, uh, within the discussion module. Um, but typically, it's because we have such small classes and I want students to interact with each other, I go ahead and click more groups. And then finally, restrict access. Um, this is about when uh, the uh, form is made available. Um, so um, I'm going to make this available right away. But the one thing that I am going to change is under common module settings, I'm going to go from visible to hide because I only want students to see the form once I have started to see the form with some questions. So I'm going to go ahead and click hide, and then it will uh, show up once I have started to post questions. And uh, I'm going to leave the restrict access uh, to its default settings and click save and return to course. And you'll notice uh, down below 
that you can see the monitor water quality with the little forum icon is grayed out because I haven't seen any uh, questions. So in the next section, I'll talk about how to see questions and interact in a forum.